There has already been a government commissioned review. That was in 2015 when John Whittingdale was Culture Secretary. He's still a Conservative MP and joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. And just remind us of the conclusions of that review and whether you agreed with them or not. Well, the review made a number of recommendations, most of which were accepted. Um, However, it did raise concern about the potential impact on revenues uh, of the BBC. And we took that into account as part of the overall discussion with the BBC of the licence fee settlement. And so we agreed at that time uh, not to proceed with decriminalisation. But we said it would be kept under review. And we're now five years on and the broadcasting world has changed a great deal. So I think it is sensible to have another look at it, certainly. And what do you think that in particular the review should look at? Well, one of the big changes that is taking place, and it's happening very fast, is that uh, more and more people are choosing to pay an additional amount through subscription for other channels. Uh, And the old argument that the BBC is received and loved by everybody is to some extent diminishing. I still think the BBC has an incredibly important place in our public service broadcasting. But whether or not it is still appropriate that the payment of a licence fee should be singled out as being a matter where one faces criminal conviction if one fails to pay, unlike all sorts of other charges, I think is something which a lot of people feel is wrong and that is why it's sensible to look at it again. But as you you said, you looked at the potential loss of revenue when you examined it in the past and the BBC is now saying that that could be around £200 million when the corporation is already facing increased costs in other areas. Well, it is perfectly true that the corporation is facing increased costs and obviously that is something one wants to take into account. But nobody's saying that uh, one shouldn't pay the licence fee. The question is whether or not it is right uh, that somebody who maybe can't afford to pay it, struggles uh, and doesn't pay, could possibly face a criminal conviction rather than have it enforced through the same means as many other charges. The government is also announcing a new scheme today, isn't it, Um, to help people, the people who were receiving a free licence fee, um, the over 75s, that's now going to be changing and it's a scheme to help them to be able to pay. Well, what is being announced, I understand it, is a simplified payment scheme which will allow anybody, not just people over 75, but people who are hard up, who struggle to pay, to spread out the cost of payment. And actually, that was one of the recommendations of the Perry Review, which we conducted back in 2015. So I think it's entirely right that that should now be introduced. I'm sorry, it hasn't happened earlier. On the question of What might replace the licence fee, and I accept what you're saying about subscription models being much more widespread. It's harder, though, isn't it, for the BBC, because um, you can't shut down people's radios and you can't shut down their their television sets. That's absolutely right. I mean, I think in the very long term, we do need to consider whether or not the licence fee is the best way of funding the BBC. But at the moment, you can't move to a voluntary subscription because, as you rightly say, there is no ability to turn off the BBC if you don't want to receive it as long as it is broadcast on free view unlike channels like amazon and apple and uh, disney to come which go out on internet television as long as it's on free view then there is no choice available so you can't introduce a voluntary payment scheme there has been criticism by the government of the bbc's coverage Do you think it's right to mix the funding model and that criticism? Well, I'm a very strong supporter of the independence of the BBC. I don't think it would be right for the government to attempt to impose uh, instruction on the BBC as to its content. Um, I do think there are questions the BBC needs to ask about its content, particularly in the light of the referendum debate, the general election. But that has to be kept separate. Um, The reason why the government is looking at decriminalisation and the long-term funding of the BBC BBC is nothing to do with its political coverage is because the broadcasting world is changing so rapidly. And you've been an observer involved in politics for a very long time, right, dating back to the time <laughs> of Margaret Thatcher. So how would you characterise the relationship between this government and the BBC and indeed with the media more generally? Well, I mean, there's always going to be tension between government and media um, and this government will not like some of the things that come out on the BBC or indeed appear through other news outlets uh, and there will be that. But I believe in freedom of the press and freedom of the media generally um, and in a sense that's part of what you, you have to put up with in government is that people will write things which you don't always like. That's certainly true. John Whittingdale, former Culture Secretary, thank you for talking to us.